While it might be small, the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport is booming with passengers. As the area grows, so does the need for flights. 10 News reporter Isabel Mascareñas looks at why many say they're willing to pay higher rates to fly out of SRQ. Sarasota Bradenton International Airport has experienced major growth this last year. It's been a very good year and a very good last 12 months. We've been up double digits since uh, May of last year. Uh, we're up 40 percent, almost 41 percent for the month of April. We're up nearly 38 percent for calendar year. Uh, we expect this trend to continue. That means that about 200,000 more passengers, like Mary Palmer, chose to use SRQ over larger airports like TIA that are an hour away. By the time you either rent a car or do Uber, I think it's just as easy to come in here. I like it because it's small. You don't have to take a shuttle to get to one, one from one gate to another. I want the convenience of coming in here, close to the beaches. Airport CEO Rick Piccolo believes the airport's growth mirrors the influx of folks moving into Sarasota and Manatee counties. Over the last five years, the population in this two county community has grown 20,000 people a year. That's a small city every year for the last five years. Uh, there's, there's about 3,500 hotel rooms that have opened in the last two years. Might not sound like a lot, but that's a million room nights. Piccolo calls SRQ a boutique airport. I often tell people Tampa's like Publix, got a lot of choices and all that, and St. Pete and, uh, and Punta Gorda like save a lot. They've got uh, a low price, but it's, it's a very limited amount of uh, inventory. And then uh, we're like Whole Foods. The airport has undergone massive remodeling and upgrades in the last five years. Everything's new. Uh, so we're in real good shape from a physical plant sta standpoint and from a financial standpoint. Piccolo says with the addition of airlines such as Allegiant, Frontier and JetBlue, other airlines are becoming more competitive with their ticket pricing and airlines like American are adding more flights in the fall. This Connecticut couple owns a home on Longboat Key. It's like flying into your own uh, personal airport here. And prefer flying out of SRQ, even if it costs more for them and their dog Missy. It's very convenient. It's 15 minutes to the house. Quaint, peaceful, easy to get through. It's wonderful. The airport added a new control tower, freeing up land that the airport leases out and is developing, and that's to draw in revenue and also keep the airport debt-free. Piccolo says this, too, helps keep costs down for passengers there.